do believe in an all electric future. We're investing $35 billion from 2021 to 2030 in battery electric vehicles. Um, but also, while we go through this transition, we're also electrifying the rest of our portfolio, increasing our hybrid volume and plug in hybrid volume to, to maximize the benefit of carbon reduction. To fill up to 80% by 2027, according to Toyota, it will take just 10 minutes. Toyota is moving quickly forward with plans to eventually build EVs with a range of more than 930 miles, 1,488 kilometers, as a result of a technological breakthrough in the durability of solid-state batteries. Disappointing, eh? You'll be pleased to learn that a British startup is showcasing a concept that, according to the company, can add 250 kilometers to its maximum range in less than six minutes. Let's get started on today's video. Energy density in solid-state batteries is significantly higher than in current generation batteries like lithium-ion units because the electrolyte is solid rather than liquid. With its incorporation, automakers would be able to greatly expand the range of electric vehicles without significantly increasing their overall size or weight. At the same time, they might drastically reduce weight while still providing a range on par with current EVs, opening the door to the possibility of lightweight electric sports cars. A low-slung GR-branded two-seater in the mold of the classic Toyota MR2 was among the 15 electric concept cars that Toyota's then-president, Akio Toyota, surprised the industry with in 2021. Toyota has also stated that a solid-state battery will likely power the electric version of the Lexus LFA's replacement, which was unveiled as a concept at last year's Goodwood Festival of Speed. It will be the first mass-produced electric vehicle to include a custom manual transmission, making it more fun to drive. Toyota announced in its most recent strategy update that it is working on a mass production technique for its existing solid-state cells and plans to introduce them between 2027 and and 2028. Compared to Toyota's next-generation lithium-ion batteries, the addition of these cells would increase driving range by about 20% to about 745 miles or 1,192 kilometers. It is currently unknown how much power this solid-state pack can hold, but it will be able to charge from 10% to 80% in less than 10 minutes. Toyota plans to create a higher-level specification after the introduction of these cells with an eye to the future. This will increase the maximum distance between charges by 50% compared to modern lithium-ion cells, up to an incredible 932 miles or 1,491 kilometers. After years of delays, the industry as a whole, not just Toyota, is confident that solid-state batteries can finally be brought to market. Nissan plans to release the technology to the public in 2028, according to David Moss, Senior Vice President for Research and Development in Europe at Nissan, who spoke with with Autocar UK in February. According to Moss, the company is confident in its innovative battery technology and aims to reduce costs by half compared to lithium-ion batteries while increasing energy density and charging speed by a factor of three. BMW and its partner, Solid Power, announced in January that they would be constructing solid-state cells in Munich. Within the next year and a half, it plans to show these off on an automobile. Yep. Weight, volume, and price. So. You know, it's interestingly, I tell my team here at Solid Power that we're in the business of delivering on dollars per kilowatt hour. Let's never forget that. And in our case, solid state is simply a means to, to get there. The way we deliver uh, on uh, very low dollars per kilowatt hours, first of all, taking advantage of being in solid state form. Now that we're uh, inherently safer, as well as having far superior high temperature stability in comparison to today's lithium ion, uh, we believe and our OEM partners believe that the design of future EV battery packs incorporating solid state batteries will be substantially simpler. Things like pack cooling uh, could potentially be eliminated uh, along with a lot of safety features. Richard Moore, the West Midlands Gigafactory's head of strategy, succinctly summarized the technology's history when asked about it by Autocar UK in October 2022. When asked about solid-state technology, he consistently said that it was at least 10 years away. At the same time, Niobolt, a UK-based producer of revolutionary ultra-fast charging batteries, has shared the ways in which its cutting-edge battery technology can 
and revolutionize EVs. The Niobolt EV is essentially a reimagining of the Lotus Elise S1 as a high-performance electric sports car that can be charged from empty to full in less than six minutes. The new cutting-edge battery technology will be included in the Niobolt EV, designed by Julian Thompson, who also designed the Lotus Elise and Elise S1, and developed by the Callum Design Agency in Warwick, which was formed by Thompson's former boss, ex-JLR design chief Ian Callum. The Niobolt EV can be completely charged with up to 250 kilometers of range in about six minutes, using current charging infrastructure, weighs less than two tons, and uses a 35 kilowatt per hour battery. That's more than twice as fast as the quickest charging automobiles on the road today, or over 1,600 miles per hour. Niobolt presents revolutionary battery technology that is smaller, lighter, and faster to charge. With the goal of providing an industry-wide solution to charging, battery material supply, and degradation. For the nearly one-ton Niobolt EV, this means a 35 kilowatt per hour battery that can be completely charged in about six minutes using the current charging infrastructure and provide a range of up to 250 kilometers between charges. The battery has also been put through over 2,000 fast charging cycles with no discernible drop in performance. This holy grail can finally be attained with the help of Niobolt's ready-to-deploy technology, which will enter production in the first half of 2024 and features proven 10C six-minute charge lithium-ion technology. As a result of this discovery, electric vehicles can now be made that are more maneuverable, cost less to operate, and use fewer precious materials. Callum's technical team collaborated with the design team and Niobolt to realize the design, creating the new carbon fiber bodywork that does justice to the design intent, as well as the front and rear lights and the bespoke 19-inch wheels. Along with designing a custom electrical harness for the upcoming first engineering prototype, it will also integrate the Niobolt battery pack, high-voltage powertrain parts and systems, and cooling system design. Materials, cells, packs, drives, and vehicles are all part of the system that Callum and Niobolt have been working to improve. The finished product of the team's efforts is a car that stays true to the original vehicle's promise of a high power-to-weight ratio in a beautiful package while also being ready to make use of Niobolt's innovative battery technology. According to Sai Shivaretti, CEO of Niobolt, overcoming the obstacles encountered by electric car designers was a major factor in the creation of our revolutionary fast-charging batteries. Before this, motorists had to rely on expensive and bulky battery packs in their vehicles to enable fast charging, even though doing so would shorten the vehicle's lifespan. However, because of their innovative technology, we've created battery packs that are smaller, more powerful, and charge in just six minutes. All these possible changes will make electric vehicles even more popular than they already are. Do you think this can be actualized only 10 years from now, like Richard stated, or sooner than that? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to stay in the loop on all things EV, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy driving.